Mm -hmm. All right, well, if you are losing your hair and wondering why, coming up, we're going to tell you the top five medical reasons for hair loss. So stay with us. We got all the details ahead. It's 842 and 65 degrees outside. We'll be right back. We're turning gears here. We're talking about hair loss, and hair loss could happen at any age, and it is a very serious concern for both men and women, but there are medical conditions that can cause that. So joining us with the top five medical reasons is president of Dermatex Hair, Tuck Liskey, and also Mercedes. And Mercedes, you're just going to have to pronounce your name for me because that one's too hard. The last name is Kazem Zadeh. Kazem Zadeh, got it, all right. Maybe just so call that K. So welcome you too, yeah. <laughs> um, now tell us a little bit about what medical hair loss means. I mean, there's so many different things that There's a lot, a lot of reasons people lose their hair, but a lot of the reasons are medical, and uh, one of the main things is alopecia areata, where people actually lose their hair in certain areas. Just mm -hmm. a lot of times in, in, in just circles on their hair. And Some is that an autoimmune disease? That's actually the white blood cells are attacking the hair follicles. Sometimes that'll reverse itself, sometimes it won't. Mm. There's also another one that's pretty common in women especially, trichotillomania, known as trick, where actually it's a hair pulling disease where women are pulling their hair out one hair at a time. <laughs> and it makes them feel better basically. Right. And it's a tough, tough disease to treat. Sure. And we all kind of know about chemo and uh, and hair loss with that. Some people will lose more hair from chemo, some people won't lose mm -hmm. that much, and some of it will come back. Stress-related hair loss, which is very common in a lot of women, which mo most of the time will reverse itself, not all of the time. Hmm. And then also there's some hair loss from poor diet, but n not that much. Um, and Mercedes has scarring alopecia here, mm. which is a fairly devastating type uh, hair loss. Well, I think it's very brave of you to come here and share your story. I mean, it must be devastating and difficult, but you are looking gorgeous as ever. So what is it that you went through to get your hair back? I mean, we're looking at this picture. Yes. Um, I was 16 when I actually had uh, alopecia areata, mm -hmm. which was stress-induced at that time. And um, I let it grow back. It took time. And then when I was 22, I started to have scarring alopecia, which is a little bit different. Um, that is an autoimmune disease. Mm. And you basically get small patches of hair loss, which actually grow into each other, which eventually look like this. Um, mm. And it was just trying to um, get it back. Get, getting right. back to normal was not easy for me. Just because I wore scarves. I did a lot of investigation, and then I notice that there are solutions for women as far as non-medical hair replacement and finally found Dermatex. And what is Dermatex? I mean you're saying it's non-surgical. Dermatex is non-surgical, right. And what we do in, on, uh, on each individual is we assess what's right for them and we match their hair. We use a, a fine skin-like membrane. We're actually going to attach hair to the areas that they've lost mm -hmm. hair. The hair doesn't grow. We haven't figured that out yet. Right but and they'll come in about every month for maintenance and they can get their hair back. No, I mean, it looks amazing. You look amazing. That's how I got beautiful. involved in this originally. That's, oh there, oh boy, that's scary. Um, <laughs> and, that's uh, you. <laughs> and it's, it's made a, a difference in my life. I ended up, I've been doing this for 25 years and it, I would start out as a client and now I'm the owner and uh, We've been in the same location for 25 years, Dermatex era. Well, I mean, you know, you, you talk about changing lives, and this is something that really does change your life. I mean, I can only imagine. I mean, it's difficult for a man. I mean, I know it's difficult to lose hair, for, but for a woman to lose your hair, I can't imagine how difficult that must have been. So you look vibrant and beautiful as ever, I'm sure. You're very sweet. Right. Thank you. Yeah, well, yeah. thank you guys so much for okay, sharing your story. Okay, thank you very much for having us. I really us. appreciate it.